this is how a pilot relief valve is in its closed position the two most important components here is the pilot valves main valve and this is the pilot valve that having been said now let us look how does this valve stay in this position first in the closed state for this to understand the first important phenomenon to understand is this area a1 and the area a2 once you understand the beautiful play between area a1 and a2 and the pressures on the upstream and downstream you will very easily understand how a pilot relief valve works the area in A1 and A2 and the pressure here controls the piston and as soon as the piston lifts up the main valve will actually relieve the pressure. This is your main valve, this is your pilot valve and this is the vent of the pilot valve. Then let us take an actual project scenario. So let us imagine that this valve is set for 50 bar of pressure gauge. So basically what happens is if the inlet pressure is just 20 bar then what is going to happen is this inlet pressure of 20 bar is also reaching from the pilot to the other side of the piston and the area A1 is greater than the area A2. This is very important to note and this is how all the relief valves especially pilot relief valves are made in this way. Now what does this do is engineers have understood smartly that the pressure is basically nothing but force applied on unit area. So because the area A1 is bigger the pressure P1 is going to be bigger than the pressure P2 which is at the bottom of the piston. Thus the P1 being greater than P2 will cause the relief valve to be in closed position when the inlet pressure is less. But what happens when the inlet pressure keeps on increasing? Now here if you see what happens is the inlet pressure is getting increased and it gets to 55 bar. Now as soon as that happens this also pressure is going to get translated to your pilot valve. The pilot valve here is also going to be having a set point of 50 bar. So this will actually vent the extra pressure outside. As soon as this is happening, there is another important phenomenon which is happening. The area A1 here is experiencing no pressure. And because of that, what is going to happen is the piston is not going to get the force from the other direction. And what do you think the piston will do at this stage? The piston is going to open up. As soon as it is going to open up, the pressure is going to get relieved from the main valve in higher quantities. Please note that this entire phenomenon is happening in just a few milliseconds. As soon as this pressure is getting released, eventually the inlet pressure is going to get reduced. If you see here, this pressure is now gone to 45 bar of pressure. When that happens, this pressure is also getting translated at the same time to your pilot. But the pilot is set at 50 bar. This is going to allow the same pressure to go at the inlet side from the pilot it is going to go to area A1 and if you know if it goes to area A1 your pressure P1 is then going to be greater than your pressure P2 and this is how your pilot relief valve gets back into its closed position again. Also an entire API relief valve standards PDF summary is kept for you in the video description. You can download it for free and actually have an entire understanding of all the API relief valve standards and master relief valve 